Hello everybody, Sean Milburn here once again today. This time I'm at the Thunder Hill Skid Pad. I got invited out by a couple of my old buddies. We're gonna go have some fun drifting. See someone just got off the track over there. He's kind of warmed it up a bit. Um, so we are in a 240SX today. I've never driven one of these cars and never drifted around a course. Um, so this will be really interesting. I'm super excited to do it. This thing makes a lot of power. It's LS swapped. Um, it's got a really big motor, makes 430 horsepower in a car that weighs like 2,700 pounds or less. So it's going to be interesting and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just going to go out uh, passenger first and see how the car forms and functions and uh, the nuances and what it likes to do and how it likes to slide and that kind of stuff so I can get a feel for it before I'm actually in the driver's seat. It's not supposed to make that sound, sir. Huh? It's not supposed to be making that noise, sir. It's dark, it's dark yeah. yeah. Woo, this is gonna be fun, man. All right, we're gonna go out on the parade lap and, and see what's up, check out the course. Okay, shifter, what about it? And then you feel the wall? Yep. Yeah. So the next the oh, I see. Okay, so lockout is on right now. Push yeah. that and it's off. Yeah, and then it's up to the right. It's up to the right like that, uh -huh. okay. This is my first time out on this course, and this is this car's first time out being on a skid pad, drifting in general. So we're gonna see what it can do, we're gonna see what I can do. It's getting a feel for it. Should have e-brake there. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, all right. How's that though? Pretty good, that's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's fun right there. I'll tell you what. Now that we got that first session out of the way, we got to see how the car felt, and we also tested our own ability to make sure that we knew what we were doing. I'm gonna go ahead and take my girlfriend out here, see what she thinks.
Here's a clip of my buddy Calvin and Arnell going out together. We're gonna go have some fun on the skid pad, so I got some footage from outside the car. Oh, it's turbo. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. All right, so these tires got properly done in, uh, and I think they said these are, yeah, these are on the cords, so go, look at that, right, so these are done, and we're on to the next ones. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's smog legal. It's a smog. Yeah, it's a smog legal change kit. Wow. Yep. What you? Have a cooling problem. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That that's really common. Yeah. What you think about that, huh? That is too funny. How the fuck did you get that in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed. Rec I missed. I should have been recording that when we popped the hood, but I popped this thing and it took him a sec. He started dying laughing. Okay, that's not a yeah. <laughs> when he says, oh, it's the stock motor. And I thought, like, well, even then, right? <laughs> no, I don't look stock. <laughs> it is a stock motor. <laughs> All right, it's so the 4S's turn for the chopping block. Yep. Uh, we'll see how long these things last. He said we should get some tire spray, see if anybody will let us use theirs and spray the tires down before we go out and we'll get a lot more life out of them. Round two? Oh, you're gonna eat? If y'all are eating, I might want to do the actual big course. Right, Try that out. Uh, if your car, you if you want to go out, you go out. After being on the skid pad for a bit, I decided to go out and try the big course. See how it feels around there. Never done one before, so let's see how it goes. I started the transition too soon. Yeah, I think you did. You turned it. Uh, you turned yeah, I didn't let. I didn't early. power out too far. So when I went to correct it, I was like at the cones already. The short. Yeah, I was way too. I was in too short. All right, so it's Calvin's first time up on the big track. Let's see how he does. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's a wall there. There's a wall there. 
there, bro. <laughs> There's a wall there, bro. Maybe we're not ready for this yet, bro. <laughs> Yet. Good job saving it from that Maybe wall by Calvin. <laughs> it was a close call, but he made it work, made sure the car was okay. There, bro. He Shit. states he might not be ready for this yet, but I think he's ready, and I think it was just a shaky first run, and uh, maybe a little more skid pad, and then grades. back to the big course for him. You're trying to get that transition, like whatever steering angle you've got. Yeah. When you need to switch the other direction, um, there's a certain degree of rotation in the wheel that you counter steer at. And that's it. Yeah, and if you go too far, yeah. when the when you lift to get that transition, it'll snap around. I see. So it's you're you're and it's really the hardest part is finding what angle you want to be putting that at. Yeah. Um. And it's, it, it's kind of dependent based off of the angle the car is already sitting. So like you saw how like back over there, how when the car was kind of shallow in its angle, yeah. I really didn't need a whole lot of steering input to correct it the other way. Uh -huh. And when the car snaps to go the other direction, you get back on the gas and you just bump the wheel a little bit That's it. and you can get it back into that slide and then you can counter steer again and, uh, and then maintain that slide. And then if you like at the end there, how I needed more steering angle when I was coming in, I just kind of added more wheel while I was on the gas and it turned the car a little more. And then uh, when I wanted to get it to transition to make that right hander, um, what I should have done is stay a little more to that inside on the left because that sets up the outside for the right. So you see how I almost pinched that cone? Yeah. It's because I wasn't out far enough to the left. So when I went for that transition and the car went to hunt in, I really had to like get on the gas and make sure that it um, it wouldn't just yeah. um, like hit that cone. got it now we're moving <laughs> see how nice and flowy that is though yeah, yeah. you don't want all over the place yeah you don't want to be too jerky with the car what you're trying to do is yeah it's smooth yeah. is it's this even the same tracking like smooth is is key yeah. and the only time where the car is not smooth is when you're on that transition period yeah and you're trying to find that angle that you want to be at and then once you're at that angle you're trying to use your throttle to maintain it yeah so I'll do one more run and then we'll trade seats. Yeah. Time to take my dad out, see what he thinks about the car and what he thinks about drifting. I don't know if he's ever been drifting before, but we're about to find out.
video games? I got quite a bit of seat time throughout the day since I was taking so many people out on this course, so I ended up getting pretty used to it and even more used to how the car flows. These were probably my two best series of the day. and smooth, huh? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun, bro. Oh, that never gets old. Alright, looks like it's about time to pack up. You guys getting the bumper back on? Yep. Oh man, that heat feels good. It's getting cold. Yep, we didn't hit a wall and we didn't blow it up. So that's uh Yep, yeah. <laughs> that about checks all the boxes. Got Slayed many a tire. So right now, did you feel like you improved today? Yes. <laughs> At the beginning of the day, I uh, was all over the place on the skid pad, and um, I was able to do donuts, but not do figure eights. By the end of the day, I was able to hold hold the throttle at a consistent um, point, and the steering wheel at a, um, like a set point, and it would just keep turning around and tight donuts and I was able to link figure eights by the end of the day. Very good, okay, that is progress. That's good progress, so. Well, I guess we'll keep doing that and then work back up to that big track until we can get a good, consistent slide together on that. Yeah, that'll be good. So I'm here with Calvin, the owner of the 240. Thank you so much for letting me come out and drive your car today. That was, that was beautiful. This thing is set up so well. What did you learn today? What did you improve on? And what are you going to be working on the next time around? Uh, I felt like um, using throttle control to push the car teaches you a lot more than turning the wheel to, to drift the car. And then uh, doing figure eights definitely helps, but letting go and just having the car rotate on power, it feels like it's more smooth when you when you do it like that. Very true. Yep. You start you stop fighting with the car and yeah. you start working with it. Yeah. So yeah, that because the steering is the harshest input, and when you're using the gas to hold that slide, it yep. likes be yep, a likes be yeah, a lot easier. So next time out, we'll get back on that big boy course, and we'll go slay more tires. Yeah. Yep, yep. So that's gonna be it for today. It's always a great day out at the racetrack, especially doing something you don't normally get to do. Yeah, you see Eric back there. Eric, did you have a good day? I showed up expecting to be a viewer to be able to drive a little bit, so that was pretty awesome. Yup, yup. Really, really a different world from the track, yeah. huh? Completely different skill. Um, much respect for good drifters, because yeah, this shit was fun. Yeah, was really yeah, awesome. setting those transitions, that's it's not easy. Yeah, it was it's not easy. It was hard, but it was really fun. Yep. yep. So it's been Sean Milburn with Milburn Motorsports. Uh, it's a great day at Thunder Hill as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed and leave a comment on what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.